Hello, my name is Lee Akram and uh, I've been handing out leaflets outside Twickenham Academy, giving, it, giving them to the parents of the pupils and um, next, well, sometime this week or next week when I get some time, I'll be handing out leaflets around Twickenham outside the council offices. Richmond Borough Council that is. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this because I have great concerns about Twickenham Academy and the Gateway Centre. The Gateway Centre is in the grounds of Twickenham Academy. I used to work there until I was forced out of my job. Basically I started working there in the Gateway Centre which caters for children with autism and Asperger's. And we used to liaise with the mainstream school. To, uh, <clears throat> sorry, like liaise with the mainstream school. Um, shortly after I started, um, within the same year, a new management came in. The line manager of the gateway. She took a disliking to one of my former colleagues. My former colleague is special needs and the new line manager didn't like her and she was planning to do anything to get rid of her. She had problems with some of the pupils, my former colleague, and the pupils used to, excuse my language, call her retard, fucking spastic, tell her to fuck off, etc. All this used to happen in front of my ex-line manager. My ex-line manager would just walk past with a smile on her face and leave the kids intimidating and bullying my former colleague. She used to be in tears sometimes, shaking, crying in the corridors. The line manager would just leave her, walk away, do nothing. I would have to step in at times because I found this foul play. This was months of systematic bullying. The line manager used to intimidate my former colleague, bully my former colleague. My line manager's son went to the school. He is special needs. Out of all the people to try and understand someone with special needs. Should have been that line manager. But the line manager was letting the kids do the dirty work to force her out. Eventually, after a few months, my former colleague's weight deteriorated. She was a nervous wreck. And some of the staff used to talk about Look at her, she's break, at breaking point, she's going to have a nervous breakdown, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. But nobody would step in and help. I stepped in, I used to help. My former colleague left with depression, severe depression, because of what the school caused her. I ended up doing a supporting statement, saying how ill-treated she was how the kids used to swear at her, how management would treat her, etc, etc. As soon as that happened, I was dragged into meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting. I was dragged in, into an attendance meeting. The school fabricated paperwork about my attendance. I was dragged into a performance meeting, talking about my performance. I've got this performance meeting recorded. The acting head of the school was there and we was discussing these so-called problems of what I have or had in the school. I did have problems. My problems were my ex-line manager and the, the acting head of the school not supporting me when they knew, everyone knew, that the line manager was out to get me for doing this supporting statement against her. 
<clears throat> I should have been protected under the whistleblower's policy. Which I wasn't. HR from Richmond Borough Council should have stepped in and investigated. They never. In this performance meeting, the line manager, sorry, the, the acting head, said, we fully support the line manager. We back her 100% basically. I complained about her bullying me and still the line manager, uh, the acting head, fully backed her. I reported getting assaulted by my ex line manager's son. The acting head still backed her. Nothing was done about it. <clears throat> the constant lies about my pipe, about the paperwork, about the minutes from the meetings, continuous lies. That they were in bu bullying me and intimidating me to get rid of me from the school because they didn't like the fact that I made a report about the ill treatment. <clears throat> I got the union involved. For some reason, the union decided to fully back the school. Um, leave your job, they said to me, the union. Leave your job, Lee. Sign this compromise agreement. I told them I didn't want to leave my job. I didn't want to sign this compromise agreement. The union said, in so many words, which I've got on emails, sign the compromise agreement. If not, we're not going to support you. I had no choice. But what, I've, what I'm doing, I'm doing because <clears throat> about a month ago, I'm walking down the street and a bump into one of the pupils from the school who remembered me working there and he said sir blah blah this and blah blah that and he said the line manager from the gateway is bullying another child because I reported child bullying the line manager didn't like a certain child when I was there. She would bully him. She would intimidate him. Send him home day after day after day. Sometimes he would only be in for five minutes. Get home. Get your bag and get home. I reported this to Richmond Borough Council. I reported it to the union. Still nothing was done about it. I find it very hard to believe that she's still working there how could i take certain people serious especially the head of the school the line manager when they used the line manager when they used to discuss to pupils oh don't bully don't bully but cyber bullying bullying this bullying that when they were the worst bullies i've ever seen in my working career and i've had Plenty of jobs. I'm just concerned that I'm giving people advice about sending their children to that school. Because if the management can get away with bullying a child, bullying staff with special needs, what else is happening within that school? What's getting covered up? You know, my ex colleague who is special needs and got bullied, intimidated, put in the grievance, all of a sudden, sign a compromise agreement, pay you off, keep your mouth shut, brush it under the carpet. No more said. Because I started making complaints about the ex line manager bullying a child, bullying me, intimidating me in certain ways. I got pushed, pushed and pushed out of that school.
I lost my career. But the thing is, I don't regret helping my former colleague. Even though I lost my career, I lost the, my job. I regret I lost my job. I regret I lost my career, but I will never regret helping my former colleague. It's just I feel that I should warn people about the management within that school and that Richmond Board of Council all know about the child bullying, the bullying of my colleague with special needs, the bullying of me, and they still back the school. I'm going to be handing out leaflets soon around Richmond, uh, around Twickenham, and I'll be standing outside Richmond Borough Council handing out leaflets, telling people to look at this Uh, clip on YouTube. Um, I think that's about it, really. Just be aware. Thank you.